radical. So when I say, how y'all doing this afternoon? I want y'all to sound off loud and thunderous radical. So how y'all doing this afternoon? Fort Meade Garrison Command Sergeant Major Rodwell Forbes firing up the crowd on the last day of vacation Bible school. Garrison Commander Colonel Tom Rickard recognized the volunteers that made it happen, including 101-year-old Marion Jordan. Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. Also this week, a new policy at the dining facility. The AWG gets a new HQ, and Women's Equality Day is coming up. These stories and more, but first, as we reported earlier this week, the United States Army Field Band, a resident of Fort Meade for more than 60 years, is celebrating its 70th anniversary with a special concert Saturday evening at 7 o'clock at Constitution Park. Recently, we spoke with Band Commander Colonel Jim Keane. The U.S. Army Field Band has now been around for 70 years, and we now have a concert band, uh, I think the world's greatest concert band. We also have the United States Army Soldiers Chorus, all just phenomenal organizations. The very top talents are chosen. Although the band calls Fort Meade home, their mission really does lie on the road. This past year, we've visited 35 different states. So it's nice to be here at home, where we don't have to load up the trucks and go too far. Uh, we just come to uh, the other side of Post at Fort Meade at Constitution Park, and um, we get a chance to bring in some local uh, audience, and then we also get a chance for those people who support us day in, day out, to come enjoy the evening. The 70th anniversary concert features a big finale with Tchaikovsky's 1812 Overture, complete with cannon fire, this year provided by the Presidential Salute Battery. Once again, the show starts Saturday at 7. It's free and open to the public. In other news, the Asymmetric Warfare Group, or AWG, cut the ribbon on a new headquarters building last week. If you're unfamiliar with the AWG, I'll let a portion of their recruiting video explain. The world is more complex than ever. With that complexity comes an enemy that is unpredictable adaptable and deadly. The Asymmetric Warfare Group keeps the Army ahead of these threats. The AWG is a unique Army organization operating across the full spectrum of conflict. We're a self-contained and scalable expeditionary force that provides operational advisory support and rapid solution development to Army and Joint Forces to defeat current and emerging threats and enhance soldier survivability. We operate at the speed of innovation. Outspending our adversaries or relying on technology will only get us so far. We ignite innovation throughout the force and we increase adaptability. We are headquartered at Fort Meade, Maryland and our training facility at Fort AP Hill, Virginia is state of the art. We're the only operational group assigned to the training and doctrine command and we report directly to the commanding general. Our mission has five key components. Operational advising, understanding enemy threats, identifying capability gaps, developing solutions. AWG Commander Colonel Mike Luce, along with Garrison Commander Colonel Tom Rickard and Garrison Command Sergeant Major Rodwell Forbes, plus officials from the Corps of Engineers, cut the ribbon on the latest addition to the AWG's Fort Meade training facility. Last week's ribbon cutting follows the 2014 dedication of the Pittman Indoor Firing Range. For more information on the AWG, go to their website at www.awg.army.mil. Elsewhere, the Freedom Inn has announced a new usage policy, opening up the dining facility to more customers. Previously, the Freedom Inn was open to enlisted service members with a meal card. Other DOD personnel were also allowed to use the dining facility for lunch on Fridays and other designated days like holidays. Briefly, here are the changes. Active duty personnel on BAS are authorized for all meals. DOD civilians and contractors can use the dining facility Monday through Friday for all meals. Retirees can use the dining facility Monday through Friday for all meals. Family members may purchase meals Monday through Friday if accompanied by the service member. Department of the Army security guards and firefighters on duty and in uniform are authorized for all meals. All others must be approved on a case-by-case -case basis by the garrison commander. A couple of final reminders, service members with a meal card will continue to have priority. All their customers must pay in cash. And one final reminder, Fort Meade's Equal Employment Opportunity Office and the United States Army Field Band invite you to celebrate this year's Women's Equality Day. Fort Meade's annual observance takes place at Club Meade Thursday, August 25th at 1130. This year's keynote speaker is Lieutenant General Gwen Bingham, the Army Assistant Chief of Staff for Installation Management. And that's Meade Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Meade TV and the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office, have a great Meade Week.